Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, October the 4th. It's a beautiful fall day. I'm just down here at Toronto Harbour Front. What I'm doing this morning is I'm looking at the uh, various GPS receivers I have and a new GNSS receiver which receives GPS, GLONASS, Galileo and Baidu as well. Um, recently I read a very interesting article about uh, drive testing for propagation. I've been looking at various prop propagation prediction programs, so I thought I would do a drive test, whereas you put your um, spectrum analyzer and GPS in a car, and then drive around and take automatic readings. Now I need a GPS that will have an antenna that goes on the uh, car roof, so the new uh, GNSS unit I have has a magnetic base, that would be ideal. Uh, right now I'm looking at uh, um, looking at Ubuntu on VMware on the Windows laptop and I'm looking at uh, uh, open, open CPN. Here's the various equipment. This is the first GPS receiver I got around the mid-90s. It's about 30 years old. It's a Garmin GPS 38 single channel. It's extremely rugged, it's waterproof, it's great. Works really well. Originally it worked with a Windows uh, XP laptop um, and then it went to Windows 7 laptop. Uh, it has um, it has an RS-232 output, so I had to get an RS-232 to USB converter. Now the first converter I got had an FTDI uh, driver, and when I got Windows 10 and Windows 11, that driver uh, seems to drive, uh, <laughs> drive Windows 10 or 11 crazy. The mouse moves all over the screen and the windows open and close. It's, it's even worse than the blue screen. So I had to get another um, adapter, so this, this one that I'm using here is an RS-232 to USB with the prolific 2303 driver. It also works nicely with, this is the new receiver I got. This is a GNSS receiver, uh, so it uses that driver as well, so that'll work nicely with Windows. This is the uh, second receiver that I, I got. It's a kit, which I made. Uh, it uses a Trimble Lassen IQ 12 channel um, GPS receiver, which is really, really good. There's the uh, patch LNA BPF patch antenna that goes into the receiver. It also uses an FTDI driver. Um, what I do here as a kludge is um, I'm, it runs perfectly in, uh, in Linux. So I've got uh, Linux running on VMware, a virtual machine on Windows. So what I do is I plug it in and I quickly assign it to the virtual machine before the Windows uh, sees it and crashes. Um, so so that's basically what I do. So I'm going to uh, go to Camtasia. We'll look at the performance of the various um, uh, receivers. And we'll also, on the blog post, I've got a table comparing um, the readings I get from them and uh, work up the standard deviation, see how they compare to, let's say, a reading from Google Earth. Okay, so right now I'm using the Garmin, Garmin GPS 38. That's a single channel receiver from the mid 90s. Uh, right now on the Garmin, I've got uh, three or four satellites. So it's a uh, fairly, uh, fairly good reading. And um, remember I said that you can't use the FTDI serial driver, you have to use a prolific. So I'm just showing you here in Device Manager. I'm in Windows now. Um, the, um, the Trimble works on the uh, Ubuntu on the VMware. But here's a prolific PL2303 driver that's being used. And there's the connections in OpenCPN. This is a network connection I use when I'm using uh, SDR Angel for AIS. And here's the serial input for the uh, GPS. And I've got the, uh, I'll show the debug window as well. So there's the debug window. And that's where we are down there. Harbor front. So let's get a, and we can see our position down there. So let's mouse in there, and see where we are. Probably won't be. It's moving around a little bit as the um, as the satellites uh, come and go. In terms of, it's only a single channel receiver. So right now it's 43 degrees, 38.0012 minutes north, and 79.24.3. Five degrees west. Okay, so right now I'm looking at the uh, Trimble 12 channel uh, GPS and I'm in uh, VMware running Ubuntu 2404. And I, as I mentioned to you, the reason I'm doing that is because the FTDI driver drives Windows 10 and 11 crazy, but it works well with, uh, with Linux. So what you have to do is you plug it in 
And if you look under remo removable de devices here, you see that I've associated it with the, uh, there's the FTDI driver, I've associated it with the uh, virtual machine. Here's the connection options within OpenCPN, and you can see that I've got a, um, a NEMA 0183 um, connection here. You have to have the serial port set up correctly, so if you go into Terminal in uh, VMware, you can find out uh, which device and where it's connected. So there's uh, bus 001, device 005, there's, the, um, there's my uh, device there. And um, so here we're uh, located down at Harbor Front, right next to, um, there's Trillium Park over there. So there we are. Uh, I've got the NEMA debug win window going, so you can look at the various signals, serial signals coming from the, uh, the GPS. Down here, it shows you your latitude and longitude. So if I put the mouse in the middle of the red boat, which is where we are, we see that we're at 43 degrees, 37.9982 degrees north, and 79 degrees, 24.3492 degrees west. So that's, uh, that's our location there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in the new GNSS receiver and I'm gonna run it on Windows into OpenCPN as well uh, so we can uh, compare the difference. Okay, now we're looking at my new GNSS unit. Um, we're running on Windows now. It uses the prolific driver. If I go into device manager here, I can see it. So there's a prolific driver. Previously for the Garmin, it was on COM8, now it's COM10. So I have to change that in the OpenCPN uh, connections. So if I go in here to the um, OpenCPN, you see that I've changed it from serial port 8 to serial port 10. Okay, and I've got the um, debug window. You can see I'm getting uh, all sorts of interesting codes here, not only from GPS, but from GNSS. Um, so I imagine this, um, this symbol here, the boat symbol, is pretty accurate. It doesn't seem to be moving at all, so it's getting a fix from multiple satellites here. Let's just zoom into the middle here. And it looks like it's uh, 43 degrees, 38.0009 north, and 79 degrees, 24.3461 west. As I say, I just got this unit, so um, I'm not 100% familiar with it. But uh, what I like about it is it's got the driver for Windows, and also it's got a magnetic mount. Everything's included in the antenna, so the bandpass filter, uh, the low noise amplifier, and the actual GPS, GNSS chips are actually in the antenna, which is very good. Um, so in the next couple of uh, blog posts and videos, we're going to be looking at um, using this for uh, propagation drive testing.